usual thing is that our attention always goes out. That's the usual thing. And because of that, there's this energy that we're putting out, right? So because the energy always goes out, your inner space is really very small. It's really small. But here is what happens. Question. We are talking about something incredibly important. What was the question? Question. Go ahead. Ask. Dans la vie normale, je suis à l'extérieur, là je rapatrie à l'intérieur. Ça, ça me va. Mais j'ai le sentiment que c'est une espèce que l'observateur est placé en haut, là. Et que ici, là, il y a un espace plus grand, plus, qui, qui me fait mal, qui essaie, et j'essaie d'aller là, mais je ne peux pas y aller. Et je me dis, c'est mon mental. Je suis toujours dans mon mental. Putting energy in, but right. she feels the, the watcher is, you know, with this space over here, and there's a bigger space over here, even there. But she's trying to to go there, and she's she can't, and it's the mind. Yeah. Most of the time, up there. most of the time, uh, where the where the center of the watcher is, that's a question of training. Le 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 centre de l'observateur, c'est une question d'entraînement. But you could say, it is correct to say that the center of the soul is in the brain. Mais c'est correct de dire que le centre de l'âme est, est dans le cerveau. The center of the soul is here. Là. It's not anywhere else. Il est pareil. Because our chi always goes out. Okay. But it is a question of training. If you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're training yourself to be here, you, you can develop that. The center of the soul is in the brain. Mais le centre de l'âme est dans le cerveau. Oui, mais à partir du moment où on s'entraîne, hein, on est dans la volonté, on n'est on est plus dans l'observation. C'est là que je n'arrive pas à comprendre. Moi. Training is the will. So it's training not is practice. practice. Yeah, but she says training is the will, so it's not... C'est pas l'observateur. It's not what you know. Yes, it is correct. You're right about that. You are using will to, to do something. Oui, on utilise la volonté pour... If you're making a decision, on prend la décision. Like, for instance, if I say to you, Focus on this. Ouais. That's well, of course. Ça, volonté, bien sûr. If I focus on that, si je dis you are directing your attention. Vous votre attention. But who? Qui? Qui? Voilà, qui? That's ah, what we're bien. looking for. This is very interesting because, you know, because you're identifying with the hand. Très say, okay, okay, la main. If I say to you, take the flower, and you will follow the flower. Okay, but you identify with the hand. Vous identifiez la main. Not the director. Non, pas celui qui dirige. Okay. Okay. The hand is just the, the hand of the servant. La main n'est que euh, le serviteur. I am telling my hand, pick up the flower. Je dis à la main, prends la fleur. The hand says, okay. La main dit oui. Okay. Your mind is your hand. Votre mental est votre main. You are directing your mind. You're making a decision. Yes, no. Oui, no. Accepted, not accepted. Accepté, refusé. Okay, you are. But who? Mais qui? Who's listening? Qui écoute? It's like you are identified with the hand, so you have to go to the director. So something interesting, something very interesting happens. As I, as I, as I'm trying to tell you. Because the chi always goes out from us. Our inner space is is uh, really just in seed state mostly. It's just a, it's just a potential. It's very it's very minimal. The inner space is just something uh, wherein your screen the, the screen upon which your emotions and your thoughts happen, okay? That's all. There's not much else to that. It generally can't be more because uh, you are losing energy all the time. You are constantly losing energy all the time. The yogis have, to sc they have discovered this uh, very, very clearly. The yogis say, aha, uh -huh. they looked at to this, they, they looked at their energy and they said, okay, the energy is going down this way, the energy is going this way. So they, they, they decide, oh, well, this is the energy it's, it's losing, it's going out like this, and then there's energy that's going out from here this way. And they, they, they labeled these, these different currents. And then they said, well, okay, the energy that's going out, that's, we call this prana, and the energy that's going down, we call this apana. They have different la names for the energies. 
And they thought, the yogis thought, if we can stop the energies from going out, something very good should happen. So they do have to have a ton of exercises that should stop the energies from leaving the body. They, they do the anus lock, they contract, contract the anus, then they, then they lock the throat. These lock exercises are called bandhas. This is called Jalandara, this is called Mudadara Bandha, Jalandara Bandha. Ketri Mudra, you draw back the tongue, you do all kinds of things to stop the energies from going outside. But of course you can do all these things without, you can succeed in doing that also in other ways. But they thought that if you can stop the energies from leaking, then you should theoretically, it should accumulate. And that's correct. This is a bucket. And the water is leaking out from all the holes, no? And that's the average human being. Every day. Okay, that's us. I'm sorry, but this is the truth. And so the waterfall goes in. Okay? This is the cosmic waterfall. Because God gives us energy all the time, but we are just we're wasting it all the time. So the yogis, they, the, what they're trying to do is, they're trying to fix those holes so that the divine waterfall, the water can accumulate huh? until the bucket is full. This is what's going on. Spiritual exercises and spiritual practices are fixing the holes in your bucket and your chi goes more and more and more. Your chi goes full. So what happens if your chi becomes full? Chi becomes full in deep meditation. She becomes full with successful mantra work. There's dozens of different ways, okay? Qigong, mantra yoga, tai chi, kriya meditation, um, self-inquiry, Ramana Maharshi work. There's a dozen ways. All of these ways have one thing in common, you turn your energy inward. There's 500 different meditation techniques, but they all have one thing in common. You turn your energy inward. Now what happens if I turn my energy inward? I am now reversing the flow of energy. Qi flow, the Qi flow is getting reversed. And what means, what does that mean now? It means that if I reverse my chi flow, my inner space will grow bigger. It will grow bigger and bigger. De plus en plus grand. It usually also means that the inner space is also really a light, actually. It's a light? It's a light. It's not just space, it's a light. The so inner space is a light-filled space. The lowest human evolution, that light is not really light, it's more like a shadow, it's dark really. It's more like an absence of light. At worst, it's like, a, at very worst, it would be like a black hole. At very best, it's like a sunlight. So, it can be very dark, or as you evolve, it becomes lighter and lighter and lighter. And when meditation becomes successful, it starts to be brilliant. You could have, you know, like a brilliant purple or golden green. But slowly, these colors, they go to gold. And the highest human evolution, your aura would be like white, like a brilliant sun. It's not even gold anymore, it's like brilliant white. And some people can see that, actually. So as I'm saying, so your aura expands, your inner space expands. In deep meditation, your inner space expands. But what happens in Samadhi? In Samadhi, the inner space just continues to expand and it becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is what I have been telling you actually many times. This is you, okay? This is you. But in a way, it's bigger than you, but this is the true you. But when you begin to experience Samadhi's experience, your space becomes bigger and bigger. And now, 
your space expands, your inner space expands so much that other people are inside you. And this is what happens in Samadhi. Samadhi is when the inner space expands so much that your inner space begins to uh, contain other human beings. So if Caroline right now would go into Samadhi, her inner space would start to expand and it would start to expand like this. And expand. And this is Caroline, okay? That's Caroline. And now Caroline is expanded. She's expanded about three meters around her body. Now, Caroline's meditation is now that her, 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 her space has expanded three meters around her body. That means that Paul exists within Caroline. And that means that Patrick exists within Caroline. And, and Jocelyn already is inside of Caroline. And so Caroline is in deep meditation, okay? Caroline is in meditation profound. And she is getting, she is getting very really surprised. Elle est très surprise. She said, "This is pretty weird." Elle dit, "Wow, c'est bizarre." And she and then, after after one hour of this, et après une heure comme ça, okay, Caroline is filling the entire room. But that means that that Olivier is in Caroline, inside within Caroline. Et que Olivier est à l'intérieur de Caroline. And I am within Caroline. Et moi aussi, je suis dans Caroline. And so now, after an hour of this. Caroline opens her eyes, okay, and she looks at Paul, she says, whoa, you are, you're me, Paul, this is bizarre, Paul, this is very strange, I had not expected this, I was just looking for relief from my suffering, and I was not happy with my life, so I thought I should try some meditation, maybe that will help, but suddenly I discovered that other people are within me, tout d'un coup j'ai découvert que les autres sont à l'intérieur de moi. So something very strange happens. So when you are in Samadhi, when you are in Samadhi, and you look at this expression, okay, there is no more separation here. So when you look at this, you're looking at the same thing. It's the same energy looking back at itself. This is you. And this is you. There's no separation. And when that happens, there's love. It's not like you're trying to love somebody. Trying to love you. It's just that there is this... It's like, you know, you're looking at your finger. I mean, you have a certain sympathy for your finger because it's your finger. It's such a nice finger, but you belong to me. It's self-love, yes. So then, when you are in Samadhi, okay, and you look at the other, then you have self-love. Just like you love your finger, because you're connected. In fact, to say you are connected still indicates a separation. You're not connected, you are it. This is you. It's within you. And once you have that experience, that's what you are. This is within you. You still have behavior, of course. Okay, this, this person does not follow your experience. Okay. You have the experience. Je suis pas ton experience. The other person does not follow your experience. Tu fais l'expérience en revanche l'autre. It's your experience. C'est ton experience. But because you have the experience, comme tu fais l'expérience, your behavior changes. Ton attitude change. Wow, this is me. Tu dis wow, c'est moi. It's because this is me. Et comme c'est moi, I have to treat it nice. Il faut que je la traite like your finger. You have to give a kiss. L'embrasser. Okay, it's your finger. C'est votre petit. You you will treat it nice. Because it's your finger, it's your, it's just an expression of you. You look at this and you treat it nice. Regardez, puis tu, tu traites bien. Because it's you. Parce que c'est toi. And that's what Buddhas and Bodhisattvas do. They, they, they treat the other with kindness because they have discovered something. Parce qu'ils ont découvert quelque chose. There is no such thing as the other.